Today we're announcing that Cabinet has agreed on the early actions this Government will take to support more people into work and break the shackles of welfare dependency that has trapped far too many people on benefits under the previous Government. Minister Upston has written to the Ministry of Social Development setting out our Government's expectations that all benefit sanctions are applied to people who refuse to comply with their obligations to prepare for and look for work. MSD will be required to report back regularly to the Government on its use of sanctions so that we can be sure that they are working as part of the tools we need to help move people off welfare and into work. This Government inherited a country in decline and as you heard in my State of the Nation speech yesterday, this will require some hard decisions to repair. But we are also a Government that is prepared to make those hard decisions. And it is appalling that the previous government frankly let the situation slide to the point where work ready job seekers are now projected to spend an average of 13 years on a benefit. And that teenagers who go on to welfare will become trapped there for an average of 24 years of their working life. And putting that into perspective, a teenager who becomes trapped on welfare now uh, may not get their first job until they're 40 because of how broken the welfare system has become under Labor. So the cost of this is significant both in terms of the social harm that a life on welfare can have and then also the actual cost of that ongoing support. Current modelling shows young people who spend almost their entire working lives on a main benefit could end up costing the taxpayer nearly a million dollars each in future payments. We cannot and we will not accept that as our future for our young people. The welfare system under this government will continue to support job seekers who can work, into work and make it easier for people to stay on track with their obligations. We will back hard working people who get up at the crack of dawn to open a corner dairy or to milk cows so they can raise their families and provide them with greater opportunities. And we will back those people who stand up and say they aren't prepared to live life on a benefit and are prepared to put their best foot forward in search of a job. We want to know that we will back them strongly. But there also needs to be consequences for those who knowingly abuse the support that they receive from taxpayers by refusing to do their bit and to deliver on their obligations. And with that, I'll hand over to Minister Upston to make a few more remarks. Thank you, Prime Minister. I'm pleased to announce that we are also taking the first steps towards more regular monitoring and support for people on job seeker benefits. From June, MSD will begin holding work check-ins that people will be required to attend if they've been on the job seeker benefit for six months. MSD will proactively book job seekers into these group check-ins for those who don't already have a dedicated case manager. This is expected to result in an additional 2,500 job seekers each month having a work testable activity to check in on what they have been doing. These will be people who MSD currently has less visibility of in terms of whether they are regularly applying for jobs. These check-ins will make sure job seekers are taking adequate steps to find employment and they are getting the correct support from MSD to help them overcome any challenges they face. This is an early step we are taking towards resetting the welfare system to be more proactive about helping job seekers into work. This will include mandatory reapplication for job seeker support every six months, greater use of community organisations to provide job coaching and other support, proper needs assessments for job seekers to overcome their barriers to employment, a traffic light system that make it, makes it clear what their obligations are, new non-financial sanctions, action will be taken against those who repeatedly fail to comply with their work obligations. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.